Hi, I'm Sarah Jessica Parker, and this is Battle of the Nutcracker Dance Off. Welcome to Ovation's dance competition that's become a holiday tradition. All this week, you will have the opportunity to watch five amazingly varied nutcrackers from all over the world, and then it's up to you to choose your favorite. You just go to ovationtv.com to cast your vote, and the nutcracker with the most votes will air on Christmas Eve right here on Ovation. Tonight, it's a real departure from the traditional telling of the Nutcracker tale. In fact, in tonight's version, the Tchaikovsky score is about the only recognizable thing. There are no dancing snowflakes, I want to prepare you, or even battling mice. Thankfully, former New York City Ballet principal dancer Damien Wetzel is here to tell us about this very unusual Nutcracker. I don't want to give it away, but this is, as you said, quite unusual. In fact, it has nothing to do in so many ways with the Hoffman tale that we're familiar with. This is all about Bejar's life himself. Uh, he's taken the Tchaikovsky score and used it as a backdrop uh, to tell his life story. So it's, it's really quite different. Maurice Bejar was truly one of a kind. He died in 2007, but was one of the biggest names in the world of ballet throughout his lifetime. So Damien, can you just tell us a little bit about what made Bejar so unique? Well, I think some of the kind of audacity that you're seeing in this production, certainly, he was, he was uh, you know, iconoclast. He wanted to do things, shake things up, be, do things of interest of the time. He's really, you know, tried to push boundaries and uh, very intensely personal, just like this. And he also attracted some of the greatest dancers in the world who wanted to work with him to, to find out what, you know, what that meant. So he really was a force uh, in 20th century dance right up until his death in 2007. There's a lot of symbolism in the staging of this performance, as we discussed earlier, but what in, in particular stands out to you? Probably the biggest, the most obvious symbol is the, the sculpture representing his mother uh, and portrays the sense that the boy's actions are all influenced by his mother's memory. And throughout the production, we also see the real Bejar looking down on the stage from a very large video screen. Damien, Bejar uses Tchaikovsky's score, but he also has added uh, a little bit of new music, right? That's correct. You'll recognize, you know, much of the music, but he's also taken quite a few liberties. You'll hear French cafe songs, uh, accordion music, and it's a very unusual compliment to the Tchaikovsky score. It's a very daring production, and Bejar was always known for his revolutionary approach to dance, and this is certainly no exception. So now we all get to witness the ovation battle of the Nutcracker's dance-off presentation of Maurice Bejar's Nutcracker. 